Bob, you have been leading people through all kinds of cold therapy for many years now, actually. Many years. You're yeah. <laughs> Wim Hof certified, all the things you've done workshops with Wim Hof. And I know you're in charge of a lot of North America now in terms of the training for cold therapy. What are we overlooking when it comes to cold therapy? You know, I see people all over Instagram and ice baths and stuff. It looks kind of mm. sexy right now, but what is it good for that we have no idea about? So I physiologically, besides the excitement, which you see on Instagram of people yeah. just doing the ice baths and yeah. going in and oh, it increases your insulin sensitivity, which means that you actually need less insulin to process the, the sugars in your body, which is a huge metabolic benefit. So, so in your the body's world, more efficient. Your body's more efficient. Um, your metabolic system is more efficient. And so yes. what's wrong with it being inefficient? So what we have learned recently, and in Casey Mean's book, Good Energy, she points this out. If your cells are not producing energy optimally, they begin to send out emergency signals saying, I'm in trouble. Those emergency signals are actually the things that kick off inflammation. So they, So an inefficient cell is actually an inefficient energy system is actually basically a danger in your body. Yeah. This is a really big insight. Like yeah. that is not simple. That's not like just, we just sort of live with it. Yeah. No, we are making a, a real mess of war inside our bodies because we have these cells that can't, their, their, their power plants aren't working well. Um, so we can't tolerate that. Yeah. We end up with this huge inflammation response because of that fact. So to train yourself to be metabolically efficient mm -hmm. is really critically foundationally important. And, and that's a huge, beautiful insight from, from Casey's work. And not from her work, but from the book. Right. And then from just the world, the, the, the research that's out there. Right, yeah, right. it's a big one. So I feel like people, for example, um, lean toward carnivore or keto diets, mm. looking for this metabolic efficiency that you're describing. Right. But what's kind of cool about the cold is it doesn't have anything to do with diet necessarily. You can get these benefits just by getting in the cold water and challenging your body. Right. And... It also has huge benefits for inflammation, for, for physical inflammation, yes. like the painful type, yeah. and for pain management itself. Uh -huh. um, and it's a huge uh, boost. It's it's a workout for your circulatory system. So many of us don't move a whole lot in our day, and the thing that's pumping our blood is this: our heart, yeah. and all these other veins inside your body and arteries have smooth muscle around. Uh -huh. Twice around the Earth's distance of smooth muscle on all these tubes. Uh -huh. Most of that muscle never gets a workout anymore because we live in 68 to 72 degrees and we think this is our comfort zone. All year right? long. Right? We heat our homes it's, in the yeah. winter. We cool them in the summer. It's like right. we're we're too comfortable, far too comfortable. Right. Well, we, I mean, we literally have to challenge ourselves for health. Mm. So we have gotten into this zone where we don't, these muscles never get the workout. So when you get into the cold, your the, those smooth muscles get an impulse to suddenly close to, to protect your 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 core yeah. and your so your periphery closes off the blood flow yeah. a little bit yeah. maybe sometimes completely in order to keep this part of you safe and alive yeah. that's a really good impulse to have the ability to to have or really powerful mechanism to exercise I it's like a yeah. cellular workout we think okay yeah. i just need to work my body my muscles my biceps my quads but yeah. we actually need to work out from the inside out and is it true yeah, I like that. that this cold mm. also makes the mitochondria that can also get kind of floppy and tired these little engines in our cells it kind of revitalizes them as well oh it gives them a signal they need to do more ah. really important they need they need that stress they need that that uh, functional stress that says I need you to do a little bit more because that makes them like all our growth comes from those little pressures that say, I need a little bit more from you. I need a little bit more, not thousands of percent more that would just break the mechanism, but just a little bit push us just you now 4% over your comfort zone. Right. Yeah. Then you get adaptation, which allows us to grow. It brings on what we call plasticity. We can change so we can adapt. We can grow. We can change. Yes. So this comes not just from, the cold, yeah. it comes from the mindset and the cold. Uh -huh. Going into the cold with the mindset of curiosity and focus and and uh, adventure, as opposed to resistance or that it's that it's something that you're you know that's gonna maybe hurt you yeah. or whatever. But but going in with an, the intention of learning something about yourself teaches you to be calmer under hard circumstances, and that's a physiological change. 
your psychology is physiology. It's not different. You have one central nervous system. Yeah, yeah. So how you change your body changes your mind. How you change your mind changes your body. Oh Go in both gosh. directions. Go in both directions. So, so the cold adaptation yeah. Yeah. is a physiological change, uh -huh. but it also makes you calmer in the world. And tell me if this is true. All of these benefits are amazing. I've also heard that somehow cold therapy lengthens our telomeres, meaning mm. we're likely to increase our longevity. Is that true? Well, so, I mean, studies, I'm not, I don't have the studies yeah, right yeah, here yeah. with me. That is the evidence that I've heard also, um, which is just great. I mean, I think the main idea is that cold, it preserves the state. It doesn't, it, it allows things to go into a calmer state. So if somebody's injured in a, you know, the trauma wards use cold all the time to keep cells alive mm -hmm. while they're working on somebody because it preserves the state that you're in. So it, 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 is, a, it is a way of calming the entire um, nervous system. You know, it so we go in for a moment. It's a shock for a moment, perhaps. Yes. It might be a stressor for a moment. Yes. But overall, across time, it is something that allows your nervous system to be more efficient. Oh my gosh, so, it's so amazing. Right. The benefits. You guys, I'm a girl that used to hate the cold, mm. but Bob and other instructors of mine, Thaddeus Owen, even Jack Cruz have taught me to embrace it for all of these benefits. Thanks for this short little convo. I know you've right got more on. to share. Yeah. We'll what hear does... more from you in the future. Absolutely, Hilda.